Okay, I'm about to replace this pressure switch and then when I do replace it, I'll uh, take it apart and see what makes it tick. What was happening is the furnace would come on, all I would do is tap this and it would kick on. So I'm thinking the contacts inside were closing but not making good contact. Just by hitting it just lightly, it would kick on. So this is a Rude, R-U-D-D, -D, I mean R-U-U-D, um, furnace, like my sign. <laughs> okay, so let's install the new one and turn it on and see what happens. Let me show you the new one. All right, so this is the new one. This is a .35 pressure switch kit. Comes with the new hose and wires, which I won't need. The new hose, yeah, I might as well replace it and then uh, install it and turn it on and see what she does. All right, well, I've installed the new one and didn't need to put the other hose on there. This one's fine. I'll keep it just because. So let me put it back together or actually put the thing... Uh, Let's put it all back together and then turn it on and see what it does. All right. Well, it's all back together. I'm not sure where the thermostat's at right now because I unplugged it and I don't know if it's going to come on because I don't know what, like I say, where the thermostat's on. So let's see if it comes on right now. If it doesn't, I'll go turn on the thermostat. Takes a few seconds. Oh, there she goes. So that means we're working. All right. Let the heat kick in. And then we'll go take the other one apart and see what's going on with it. <clears throat> you should hear the flames here come on in a few seconds. Come on, baby. There she goes. All right, well, let's go take the other one apart and see what makes it work. All right, I'm not sure what it's going to take to take this apart, but I can't hold my phone and take it apart at the same time. So let me see if I can pry it open. If I can't, I'll have to use some kind of saw without destroying it too much. All right. All right, so this is what's inside. Let me, uh, let me, I got the hose here, so right here. I'm gonna put it in my mouth and blow into it. I'm gonna suck on it. And then I'm gonna blow again. So, I'm guessing there's little tiny contacts, you can't see them in there somewhere and uh oh there they are oh there they are way down there and uh i'm assuming and let me take it apart a little further and see if we can see something all right all right i don't know if you can see this way down there there's little points almost like the points on a car and uh, without taking it apart and destroying it, I really can't show you. But I'm assuming some of those aren't uh, exactly clean anymore and they just don't make contact. So, whatever. It works. And a uh, little diaphragm there that pushes in and out. That pushes. It. I'm assuming it probably got weak. And the contacts don't come together anymore. So... Hopefully that'll fix it. All right, well, thanks for watching. It's running just fine. Hopefully it'll stay running. And uh, hope that helps for anyone having pressure switch problems. I used to have an X right here. And uh, I used to hit, because the switch is right here, I used to hit it just enough to, uh, and just lightly, just enough to start it again so 
it's not fun when in the middle of the night you're freezing and you have to come out here and tap it to get it started. So hopefully this solved my problem. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And talk to you again soon.